drop Bongo off. Now I'm going for a bit longer ride. It's still supposed to storm, so I don't want to be out for very long. sure how much of the video is usable on that last bit because of the camera dropping and such. But hopefully it was good. I think tomorrow, I'm not sure if it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so hopefully I can get Bongo out again. But Saturday and Sunday, I definitely know it's not supposed to rain. So, hopefully, health wise, I'll be okay. Get out and be just fine. So, this was the playhouse that I went by the other night during the, uh, oh, that night ride. So. And then that's our city hall or town hall. And the cabin was around this other block. So you can see it during the daytime. I was here the other day and I I'll have to look up the story behind the cabin, but yeah, it just fell over. I guess I'll pick it up for him. So. That's not right. Yeah. Anyways, so the cabin was built from reclaimed lumber from a lot of different places. There was a cabin here in town that they used some of the wood from. But it's neat. I don't think I can see in there, or you can see either. Hopefully me walking is like bobbing up and down on the camera too much. So, so we've got a grill or wood fire going. It smells good. building down here in the downtown area that they're about to move because they're widening Indiana 32. I don't know if we can get down to it, but the, uh, I believe that lot that's right next to the, uh, that playhouse is where they're going to move the building. But I believe that building is being saved because it was the oldest general store in Westfield. And it may have had, um, may have had historical significance for the Underground Railroad as well. It's that green building right there. I don't know how far you can see. It's going to be hard to get down to it with the traffic. It's rush hour right now. Let's go this way for a bit.
this is somewhat the route we took the other night. So, the Midland Trace is up here. I think I'll just get on that for a bit. I don't want to be out too long for the weather that's coming. It says that in 1861, the Quakers founded Union High School. The name changed to Union High Academy when the grade school was added in 1882. This is the oldest continual high school in the state of Indiana. So it says Union Bible Seminary was founded in 1911. The name changed to Union Bible College in 1989. The founder of William Smith stated, If your passion for learning exceeds your passion for souls, stop and pray until your passion for souls exceeds your passion for learning. So, yeah, so 1911 was when it was founded. That's cool. All this continual high school in the state of Indiana. up 
here. Over here. So. And not particularly used to looking for stuff when you're on a sidewalk.
Creek is pretty filled up. I believe that's called Cool Creek. I'm not sure if... No, I know it doesn't. I know the what we called the Stink Creek the other night it was not the same as Cool Creek. Cool Creek's the one that runs underneath one of the bridges on the Midland Trace that we go by. Some walking trails and stuff through the woods here. I don't, they're not paved, they may have a little bit of gravel, but I'm almost like 99% positive a bicycle isn't supposed to be on them. So we will not be traveling them. See the uh, creek is uh, pretty high up. So. Gently flowing. There's big, big rocks over there. Goodness. trails. There's a little uh, pavilion over here where they can have music or plays or what have you. And then public bathrooms and there's a nature center over there. During the school year there's a lot of uh, kids and stuff that go there. Probably summertime. But I've never been in the nature center but out here in the, uh, the field there, usually they have wild grasses and things, and signs describing the birds and things that are out there.
close to us. Not much. 